you doing there? Working on a new plan to catch the Roadrunner? <laughs> the humorous implication being that I am Wiley Coyote? Yes. And this is a schematic for a bird trapping device that will ultimately backfire and cause me physical injury? Yes. <gasps> I don't think you need to worry about death by badgers being hereditary. Not true. The fight or flight instinct is coded genetically. Instead of fleeing, he chose to fight barehanded against a brawny member of the weasel family. Who's to say that I don't share that flawed DNA? Well, you can always get a badger and find out. <laughs> Uh, 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 the hell? What's the matter? I have pain radiating from my navel to my lower right abdomen. I'm nauseated and feverish. I believe I may have cholera. There's no cholera in Pasadena. Just like last summer when there was no malaria in Pasadena. Well, if it's not cholera, then based on a quick internet search, the other explanations in decreasing order of likelihood are Hirschsprung's disease, botulism, a 30-foot tapeworm, or accidental ingestion of chrysanthemum blossoms. When would you have accidentally eaten chrysanthemum blossoms? It's part of an unlikely scenario that involves sleepwalking in a 24-hour flower mart with a less-than-vigilant proprietor. My belly. Have I had your appendix out? I haven't. I've been meaning to, but who has the time? Uh, let's get you to the hospital. So this is how it ends. With cruel irony, just as I make the commitment to preserving my body, I am betrayed by my appendix, a vestigial organ. Do you know the original purpose of the appendix, Leonard? No. I do. And yet I'm doomed while you live on. Funny how things worked out, isn't it? Oh, Lord, I think it's about to burst. <laughs> On the other hand, it might have been the Brussels sprouts. Good night. Good night. Appendicitis. What a nervous Nelly. <laughs> mothers. Oh. And the flash shirt is what? Because you're going to run really fast? No, the flash shirt is because it's Friday, but it's nice when things work out. Where's your heart rate monitor? I don't have one. What about your pedometer? Don't have one. Well, do you have telematics in your shoes connected to an iPod? Uh, no. What, well, what do you do? You just go out there and gamble about like a bunny? No, I just run till I'm hungry and then I stop for a bear claw. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Oh, it's good to stretch your muscles before you run. All right. All right, let's uh, start with a toe touch. <sighs> okay, you do it. I am doing it. Oh, wow, good job. Okay, um, can you do this? We'll never know. Warm up on the run. Okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I've been reading up on biomechanics. I, I think you'll be surprised if I do. Oh, oh! oh my god, are you okay? I think so. <sighs> Let me help you up. Thank you. Oh, oh Sheldon! If it makes you feel any better, Thursday is no longer cruciferous vegetable night. Coming. <laughs> Greetings, friends. Greetings, whatever the hell you are. I am a mobile virtual presence device. Uh, recent events have demonstrated to me that my body is too fragile to endure the vicissitudes of the world. Until such time as I am able to transfer my consciousness, I shall remain in a secure location and interact with the world in this manner. 
Really? That's your question? When did he put a ramp in? <laughs> You're in my spot. Get out of bed. I hurt my ankle. What do you want me to do? Sing me Soft Kitty. Really? You want me to sing Soft Kitty to a computer monitor? Would you rather come over and sing it to me in person? Soft Kitty, warm Kitty, little ball of fur. Closer to the microphone. Happy Kitty, sleepy No. Ki you have to start over. <laughs> Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. 